we have already seen what is an an fa and what is an e move let's study today the how we can remove an e move from an nfa so the topic for today is removal of e moves so to remove the e moves the first step is to compute the e closer we have already seen in the previous classes that how an e moves what is an e move and how an e closer can be computed let's make an automata a non deterministic finite state automata having an e move this is a three state automata we are making a recursive loop with b an epsilon a state q1 input a a state q0 and this is an initial state so the first step is to compute e closer the first step is to find e closer for all the states so we will write down the e closer directly because in the previous lectures we have already seen how e closer can be computed so we will write down the e closer directly over here e closer of q0 is uh, if we see what is the e closer of uh, q0 that what are the states which can be reached by giving only epsilon so e closer of q0 is null union q0 so it is q0 itself null union q0 because there is no state which can be reached by uh, giving only epsilon so it is q0 similarly we find out e closer of q1 e closer of q1 is q1 itself and the state which can be reached on applying e that is q2 similarly e closer of q2 is equals to q2 itself so this is the first step where we compute e closer of all the states which are there in the question so in the first step we have find out the e closer of the three states e closer of q0 is q0 q1 is q1 q2 and e closer of q2 is q2 now the second step is to find out the transition function for the new nfa see what is our question the question is that we have to draw an equivalent nfa which can accept the same strings which was accepted the, by the nfa which was having an e move we have to draw a new nfa without e moves which is the same so the first step is to compute the e closer and the second step to find out the new transition function for the new nfa so to distinguish it from the previous nfa which is given in the question we call it del dash so the general definition of del dash q q is can be any state and a can be any input is equals to e closer of this is a general definition of new transition function e closer of del of e closer of the state q comma a this is the general definition which we have to follow that how to compute the new del dash del dash is equals to e closer of the transient function for all the states of e closer of the given state on the given input we compute the new we compute the old transient function for the e closer of all the states and then we find the e closer of the resultant also the logic is that we have we have to find down the transient function of a nfa which is without e moves we try to find out that what are the states which can be reached in the given automata which is having e moves what can be the states which can be reached from a particular state on an input including epsilon what are the states which the automata was reaching 
now the states to which this automata was reaching we will compute the behavior of the new automata by taking the e closure of all the states which were possible to reach in the olden in the given automata so let's solve this thing and things will become more simpler then remember that e closure of q0 is q0 e closure of q1 is q1 q2 and e closure of q2 is q2 so i'm just writing over here for remembering that e closure of q0 is q0 q1 is q1 comma q2 and e closure of q2 is q2 this is we have written e closure of the automata which was given to us and this was the automata which was given to us let's make a smaller version so that we can use the same page this was epsilon and this was q0 q1 q2 okay now let's compute del dash q0 comma a so del dash q0 comma a would be as per the formula e closer we will write only ec e closer del of e closer of q0 comma a so e closer again we will write e closer del of e closer of q0 so e closer of q0 we can see we have written e closer of q0 is q0 itself so del of q0 comma a and q0 comma a if we see is q1 so it becomes e closer of q1 and e closer of q1 we have written is q1 q2 so this gives us a new del dash that is del dash q0 comma a so we come to find out the transition function for the new automata that on q0 when a will come the new non-deterministic finite automata will move to two states q1 and q2 and new nfa will be without e moves similarly we find del dash q0 comma b so del dash q0 comma b would be we will write it directly now it will be e closer of q0 comma b e closer of q0 comma b so e closer of q0 comma b and q0 comma b is uh, e closer of sorry e closer of del of q0 comma b so del of q0 comma b is null so e closer of null would be null so e del dash of q0 comma b is null similarly we find we will write this in detail del dash of q1 comma a so del dash of q1 comma a would be e closer of del of we will compute del of del of e closer of q1 comma b what does this line means first we have to find out the e closer of, of q1 so what we have to do is we have to find out the e closer of q1 so e closer of q1 is q1 q2 so del of q1 comma q2 comma b this is the main catch so it is equals to e closer of del of q1 comma q2 comma b means del of q1 comma b union del of q2 comma b which is equals to e closer of del of q1 comma b q1 comma b means q1 comma b is null union q2 comma b q2 comma b is q2 so it is equals to e closer of q2 and e closer of q2 is we have already computed it e closer of q2 is q2 itself sorry it is equals to q2 itself so del dash q1 
comma a is equals to q2 similarly we compute del dash q2 comma a so del dash of sorry del dash first we will compute for b so del dash q1 comma b so del dash of q1 comma b would be e closer of q1 comma b union e closer of what will be del dash of q1 comma b we, we can see from the previous thing which we have done e closer of del of q1 comma b union del of q2 comma b sorry we have made one mistake q2 we were computing instead of uh, a it was b let's correct this we have computed it q1 comma b only yes we have computed b we have written b over here so it was q1 comma b so let's now do it for a q1 comma a so it will be del of q1 comma a union del of q2 comma a so q1 comma a q1 comma a is null and q2 comma a is also null so it becomes to be null so del dash q1 comma a is null okay so th that's this is the way we have computed del dash q1 comma b del dash q1 comma a and del dash q0 comma 0 in the same ground we can compute del dash q2 comma a now del dash q2 comma a would be e closer of q2 e closer of q2 is q2 itself so it would be e closer of q2 comma a e closer of del of q2 comma a so q2 comma a is in the previous figure null so its e closer will also be null similarly if we compute del dash of q2 comma b so q2 comma b del dash will also come to be uh, q2 comma b is q2 itself so e closer of q2 is q2 itself so it will come to be q2 jaise humne previous wale compute kare we can compute in the same way that what will be the e closer of q2 comma a and what will be the e closer of q2 comma b so the e closer which we have already find found out we use those e closer to compute the new transition function so if we write down these transition function then we can make convert this transition function which we have computed into a transition table okay we can convert it into a transition table so let's write down this transition function that what we have finally computed what we have finally computed is del dash q naught comma a is equals to we will see what we have computed then del dash q naught comma b is equals to del dash q1 comma a we do not remember what we have computed we are just writing now we will see the previous page then we will write what are the what is the solution q2 comma a and del dash q2 comma b this is 2 so let's go on the previous page and see what we have computed yes q0 comma a is q1 q2 and this is null so this is becomes this then becomes q1 comma q2 and this then becomes null let's see for del dash q1 a in the previous page del dash q1 a is null and q1 b is q2 so let's write down over here this is null and this is q2 similarly for q2 a was null and this was q2 so this is the new transition function which has come now we can convert this transition function into a transition table the inputs was a and b there is no epsilon this time and the states are q0 q1 q2 so what we will write on q0 when a comes the new states are q1 comma q2 for b this is null for q1 
वन ए इज नल फॉर क्यू वन बी इट इज क्यू टू फॉर क्यू टू अगेन ए इज नल फॉर बी इट इज सो दिस इज द न्यू एन एफ ए विच वी हैव गॉट इन दिस न्यू एन एफ ए देर इज नो एपसाइल दीज आर द थ्री स्टेट्स सो द न्यू ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन डेल डैश इज डिफाइंड इनपुट्स आर नोन न वॉट इज रिमेनिंग इज दैट विच इज द इनिशियल स्टेट एंड विच इज द फाइनल स्टेट सो द रूल टू नो द इनिशियल स्टेट एंड रूल टू नो द फाइनल स्टेट इज वेन वी कंप्यूट द ई क्लोजर नाउ द स्टेट्स इन हूज ई क्लोजर प्रीवियस इनिशियल स्टेट्स वुड बी देयर विल बी ट्रीटेड एज इनिशियल स्टेट ऑफ द न्यू एन एफ ए मीन्स जिन भी स्टेट्स में पुराने वाले एन एफ ए के ई क्लोजर का इनिशियल स्टेट होगा नए एन एफ ए में वो सारी स्टेट इनिशियल स्टेट बन जाएंगी तो Q0 के ई क्लोजर में Q0 था और Q0 जीरो इनिशियल स्टेट है तो Q0 जीरो बिकम्स द इनिशियल स्टेट सिमिलरली Q1 के ई क्लोजर में क्या था Q1 वन कॉमा क्यू टू एंड क्यू टू वॉज द फाइनल स्टेट सो क्यू टू बिकम्स द फाइनल स्टेट क्यू वन बिकम्स द फाइनल स्टेट ओवर हेयर बिकॉज ई क्लोजर वॉज क्यू वन वॉज हैविंग द फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ प्रीवियस एन एफ ए सिमिलरली ई क्लोजर ऑफ क्यू टू इज क्यू टू इट सेल्फ एंड क्यू टू वॉज द फाइनल स्टेट इन द एन एफ ए विद ई मूव सो क्यू टू इज द फाइनल स्टेट ओवर हेयर ऑल्सो सो दिस बिकम्स द फाइनल स्टेट इफ यू ड्रॉ द फिगर ऑफ दिस सो हाउ डज दिस एन एफ ए लुक्स लाइक ऑन क्यू जीरो वेन ए कैम्स वी मूव्स टू क्यू वन वेन ए कैम्स वी मूव्स टू क्यू टू ऑल्सो देर इज नो एप सैल एंड दिस इज द इनिशियल स्टेट एंड दिस इज द फाइनल स्टेट ऑन क्यू जीरो वेन बी कैम्स देर इज नो मूव ऑन क्यू जीरो वेन ए कैम्स देर इज नो मूव बट वेन बी कैम्स वी मूव्स टू क्यू टू on q2 when a comes there is no moves but when b comes we moves back to q2 so this is the nfa without e move so this is the way we can convert an nfa with e moves to nfa without e moves so if a question comes to convert an nfa to dfa and the given nfa is having e moves the first step is we have to remove the e moves then we can follow the procedure which we have already studied to how to convert an nfa from e moves to from nfa to dfa